YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to a new game called Turb Dynasty. I believe AJ also suggested this game to me. This and Off and Pacing, so I'm reviewing these two. Off and Pacing, I already played. I just uh, just did a more updated um, review. This is something I've never played before, and I know nothing about. So we're just gonna go ahead and um. Seriously, somebody has my stable's name. How annoying. Bah. Uh. Let's do that. Nobody has that. Anyway, so Turf Dynasty, I have no idea how this goes. So I am Turf Tom. Welcome, new owner. Let's get, uh, let us get you a new horse. So you can start racing. You can choose a name, gender, and you'll receive a four-year-old ready to race. My name. I'm just gonna use my first name, which is Eric. Horse. Uh, we'll just get a horse. You can actually pick. Can you choose your horse's colors or no? This is just by default. Okay. This is what. Or is is that for? Or is that my horse's name? Uh. Now you have a horse. I just named my... I thought it was asking me to name myself. And I think it's just like my horse's name. Whatever. We'll, we'll go with it. Now that you have a horse, it's time to get racing. Let me show you how to get in your first race. Sure. So I want... Is Turf Dynasty. This has to be the thoroughbred version of Off and Pacing. I can already tell by the interface. It's probably made by the same company, right? So if that's the case, then I know what to do. The horse's current attributes fall somewhere in the range shown. The, white, the width of range will decrease as your horse matures, giving you a more accurate view of where your horse's ability actually is. Okay. The bar grows as the horse matures from birth, so the range does not indicate possible future values. It just tells you the current value is somewhere in the shroud. All horses mature differently and reveal their abilities at different rates. Some will always have a wider range than others, making them more of a mystery until you see their abilities in races. Horses also have hidden attributes. So speed, stamina, gait, speed, and hearts, the same as uh, often pacing. The color is just a helper to indicate where the center of the range currently falls. It does not mean the true attribute is in this range. It is just to help visually. Okay. Racing horses, when they are well rested, will result in better results. If you know, if you notice the color circle next to the horse name, aka the horse fitness levels, beginning to drop, give a horse a break to allow them to recover. Name horse. Uh, doo -doo -doo. We're gonna name this horse as well. Morning sun. Because it, it's uh, at 6 in the morning. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and just put this horse in a race here. Yep, I figured. So let's see how this gameplay is. Um, now, obviously, he'll have to be entered in a maiden. And unfortunately, all these races don't start till later. So we're going to just have to watch a race. Um, I'm not actually going to be able to... Now, I don't know what his stats are. His stamina is not bad. I'm still going to put him in this 5 for a long race. Um, maiden claiming for 300000 It's a little high price, but uh, we'll go ahead and do it. Purse is 64 k So we'll go ahead and um, enter this race. And we'll be able to select it. I like to actually show you the distance, too. That's different from off and pacing. Select Jockey. Okay, who are we going to get? Uh, where is Jockey? Okay. Luis Saez. All right. So they got, obviously, I'm assuming, clearly the real jockeys. Frank Johnson in here. Uh, who else? Sorry. Jose Abracho. Recognize some of these. Um, that's cool to actually have the real jockeys in here similar. Joe Talamo. Hey. Good old Joe. Mario Chong. We'll do, um, oh, let's do Luis Saez. Why not? And enter race. Congratulations on entering your horse in a race against real players just like in real life so yeah this game is pretty much um, i clearly picked up this is basically the thoroughbred version of uh, off and pacing okay so let's actually go watch a race live you can see the interface is pretty similar so if you guys watch my off and pacing video um the interface is very very similar if you haven't watched that video go watch it because you'll see there's a lot of similarities in these games so there's no need for me to really re-explain everything because it's pretty much the same it's just this is thoroughbred racing and the other was harness horse race so, of course, um, this horse is in sales. One-year-olds. So, in this game, you can actually bid for one-year-olds. Okay, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. Okay, that's cool. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, I like that. But, like I said, let's actually watch... Well, actually, let's look at the races that they... The tracks that they have in this game. So... They have Dubai Race Course, Fairmont Park, Hawthorne, Hong Kong, and Woodbine. Okay pretty solid ones pretty solid race courses so there's a uh, Fairmont let's go ahead and look at so let's look at a uh, Hawthorne okay that's Hawthorne I like that they got a little bit more detail it seems Hong Kong awesome 
Woodbine, awesome. And Dubai, all these look pretty good. All these look pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and I'll watch a race here. Now I have to adjust my recording, so bear with me, guys, as I adjust the, uh, the frame here, because I didn't realize it was going to go to, like, widescreen. Okay. So, this is race starting in three minutes. It's a field of... <clears throat> it's a field of 14? Not mistaken? It's a field of 14? Thought Is it two scratched? The two's number's not popping up. It's a field of 14. Is there any race replays I can watch? Because I don't want to take too long. Um, hmm. So, we have to... Uh, yeah, apparently we this race will begin in three minutes, so... Uh, what I will do is I will come back when this race is starting live. But looking at this field right quick, uh, it doesn't even tell you how how long they're going. Like I said, it looks like it's a field of 14. Uh, the one is Wet Coliseum. And uh, <laughs> it has Driver in here, which i uh, pretty sure unless is Yeah, field of 14. This is, yeah, it has Driver instead of Jockey, but that's just a little critique. Jose Betancourt. Um, Jebion Toledo, Kevin or um, Orisco. I recognize some of these jockeys in here. Pedro Monterey Jr., Ricardo Santana Jr. Definitely recognize some of these jockeys. So that's cool, like I said, from the realism perspective. So yeah, this race starts in two and a half minutes. So like I said, uh, we'll be back here in the recording once this race actually starts to see how the gameplay actually looks. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back. So this race is starting in five minutes or five seconds. <laughs> Five seconds, people. Five seconds. Five seconds. Not five minutes. And we're going to see how this looks. Hopefully pretty cool. All right. 14 entries. Don't know the distance. Here we go. Ned Woodbine. And they are off. So. Interesting. Uh, there's way more detail. There's way more detail on this game from the, um, the actual gameplay itself compared to off and pacing, which is cool. Um, it appears every horse has blinkers, if I'm not mistaken. Now, jockeys obviously do have their different colors and threads, which is pretty cool. Um, they actually have the uh, the proper number um, colors and saddles, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, pretty interesting. So, they're in the home. I think, yeah, they got to be in the home stretch. I doubt they'd be going uh, anything more than five furlongs or five or six furlongs from back there. So here's the camera angles. I'm assuming it's the same thing. You got broadcast, you got angled down. Yeah. All right. So right now the eight is still in the lead, followed by the six. They actually have some spectators. So I can tell they've, um, I wonder if this is what they plan on doing with off and pacing visually, you know, as far as how this is much more detailed, clearly. It looks like the five is going to get this win here. Five, one, four, two will be. Your results for that race, 110.80. Still don't even say the distance. I'm just going to assume it was five or six furlongs. So that is the gameplay. All right. Not, uh, not bad. Again, like I said, it's pretty much like off and pacing. So for me personally, this isn't a game that I will play long term because of the wait between races, which is really long. You know, like I said, there's just there's not much to do. You're kind of just racing your horses, waiting to see what their abilities are. And um, that's it. But what I appreciate about this type of game is that you get to race and play against other players. You know what I mean? Obviously, that's cool because we don't have a whole lot of horse racing games like that. Um, legitimately, um, I would say probably the closest one is, I think, a game that's actually called Horse Racing Manager. Um, as I played on this channel before, I might start playing it again. And not like the Final Stretch Horse Racing Manager series. It's something like that's actually on iOS. Um, in which, like I said, I'll do that in another video. So, like I said, this game... Um, I like the details. I definitely like the details. Obviously, it's much more put into this than um, off and pacing. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's much. It's it's the realism that these games are really built for. I don't think they're built for the aesthetics as much as other horse racing games are. Obviously, like a Rival Stars, right? Rival Stars is an example of a game that's really built for the aesthetics and the realism. It's it's there to an extent um, with certain things, and I think they're trying to implement more realism, but. When it comes to like the racing conditions in Rival Stars compared to this, obviously it's night and day. Like this actually has your real races, your maidens, your claimings, um, your claimers, all that good stuff. So I don't think there's really much else to review. We just watched the race, which is pretty cool. Like I said, everything else is probably the same. We just saw the tracks. You get um, recent results. 
Um, it shows you big races here. The Christmas Derby is going to be happening in Woodbine. You got Summer Breeze Derby. So, got some uh, interesting stuff here, to say the least. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I will. Um, I'm probably not going to record, like I said, another video of this, but I'll see how my horse performs in its debut, Morning Sun. He's going five uh, furlongs, I believe, at. Five furlongs, I forgot. Five furlongs at Fairmont. Purse of 64,000s, maiden claimings, 300,000. Phillies, uh, two years old. Uh, two, Phillies, two and three years old. Going five furlongs, I would assume, on the dirt. Unless uh, they say otherwise. And that's supposed to happen at 11.07 today, and I'll probably be asleep by then because it's 6 a.m. and I haven't been to bed yet, but I've been working on videos uh, for you guys and whatnot. Oh, you can actually do quick entry. Really? Well, how quick is quick entry? Does it take me out of the race I was already scheduled for or what? Just not. Okay. Can I buy another horse? Let's see if we can buy another horse. Okay, we can't buy it. We can buy uh, another horse. Um, I'm going to call her Domino's Philly. All right. There's our Philly Domino's. Now, let's see if we can actually get her in a race. Um, abilities wise, no idea what these horses are really capable of. So Domino, she's a two year old filly. So quick entry. And as you can see though, that's the only problem with these games though. The wait time between races is just extremely long. So if you're trying to really play and watch your horse race, I mean, you just got to set your phone down and just kind of remind yourself if you want to, when your race is. So, uh, they're telling me they should, we should, uh, put her in this race here at Woodbine. Can we? It's two years old, five furlongs on the dirt. We'd be number 13. I don't like that gate position, but it is what it is. I can't enter any of these races. Or do I, I need to choose a jockey? Uh, let's see. Let's get... Let's get Daniel Moore, I guess. So, we got both of our horses entered in races. Can I buy another one? I cannot. Okay. So, like I said, um... If I do end up playing this game long term, obviously I will go ahead and uh, make more videos of it. But like I said, it's just not something I think personally for me. Uh, I'm not knocking this game or off and pacing. I think they are great for people that like that style of horse racing games. But I like the more hands-on approach. If I can't actually play the game myself, then I at least want to have the ability to train my horses, which is why I like champion horse racing. Yes, I'm not actually playing, but so much of what I do with training my horses and putting them in the right uh, conditions to be in top racing form that ends up playing out when the AI actually are you know controlling those races and um racing your horses for you so you know like I said if I can't play I at least want to have a really hands-on approach with the training and unfortunately I don't know why training isn't in this game that's actually extremely weird I, it has everything else that's realistic but there's no training in here or often pacing I think Having some sort of training that you could participate in would actually be really, really helpful and would make it a little bit more immersive for me personally. So uh, that's all it. Uh, that's all for today. I was going to say that's it. Same thing uh, for Turf Dynasty. Like I said, I believe AJ wanted me to do this in off and pacing. So like I said, uh, not bad games at all. Uh, if, like I said, if it's something you want to play, uh, I just don't think personally I'll be playing these um, any longer than what I normally do. Like I said, I may log into these games once or twice a month. Um, and that's really about it. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts though. Comment section below. Make sure to smash the like button. It does help out a lot. Thank you for the support on the channel as always. But until next time, Horse Racing Gamers, signing out. I'll be all have a great and fantastic day. See ya and goodbye.